Howdy, y'all. First off, I want to thank Josh from Shooting the Shave for the tag. Well, you know, so that's the reason I'm back today. Well, I'm a squirrel. He tagged me in the With the Grain Challenge. Using any razor you want, two passes with the grain. Then you got to ask three questions. Is it an acceptable shave? It is, a sm is it a smooth shave? Hmm. And how does it compare to your normal shaves? I believe this was started by Mark from Friendship Shaving. I will have everybody's links and everything down below. So the razor of choice is going to be this. This being the stainless sterling with the hyper-aggressive plate. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not cheap camera, but anyway, hyper-aggressive plate. Three-piece razors. You can see one, two, three. The blade. If you want to go big, might as well use a feather. So, we'll get this unwrapped. I should have done this before, but I didn't. As you can see, boy, this is, this tuck has really had a lot, and I mean a lot of glue in it. So we'll try to get this without cutting my thumb off. Feather blade, top cap. Yo. <laughs> mm, bottom cap. Boy, I hope this isn't a sign of what to come. And then you put the screws to it, baby. Mm. Let's try this again. Maybe I need more coffee. Maybe I need less coffee. All right, there we go. As you can see, I had inquired about the uh, blade gap and exposure and everything on this on one of the forums, and someone said it was, um, mm, what the, mm, and something else. All right, brush. Simpsons Trafalgar T3. What do I think about this brush? Eh, it's not my favorite. I know a lot of people rave over this brush. It's, it's all right. The soap has been blooming in my copper bowl. It is a sample of Dr. John's Flower in the Dark. I'm just going to get a quick little load on this. Oh, I also wanted to mention the razor I have bought off of Randy Shaves. I'll have his link below too. Flowers in the Dark is a lavender forward scented soap. This is a vegan soap. Reason I'm using it is I had won a uh, $100 gift card from Dr. Jones. And I thought about getting this soap and aftershave. That's pretty cute, wasn't it? <laughs> all the bloom water that I saved in my little thing here, I just spilled all over the place. So there goes that. Yeah. I can already tell this is uh, shaping up to be. And there goes the glasses in the sink. Maybe I shouldn't go along with this. What could go wrong, right? I have uh, about 60 hours worth of growth. So we'll just do the back. <coughs> and now that isn't spraying right. There we go. Do what I gotta 
bowl of water over here. We're just going to do some aggressive dunks. Go from there. Let's try not to make this a long video, but I don't think there's any way around it now. I just did a complete dunk in the water over here. Probably one more complete dunk. Then we'll get going. Sense strength on this. Maybe just a hair over mid. Look, I got soap leather on my ear. The way my ears have been growing hair, I should be uh, shaving them too. I just can't figure out the first way how to do it with a de eraser. So, what have I been doing in my time off? Well, not really time off. Time not doing videos. I've actually been using my straights here lately. Uh, here in November, I've decided to do a one pass with the grain. December, I plan on doing two passes with and across with the straights just to try to get my muscle memory back. I do have to shave that on order. The Vanta shave that to be exact. Let's do just a little bit more. Then we'll get at it. Now I have never used the hyper aggressive plate. I don't think I've actually used the sterling razors on camera before. When I first got this from Randy, I probably used it for about a month. Just to kind of see how it goes. Sterling Hyper Aggressive Plate with the Grain Challenge. So, Kind of see how she goes. The soap. I'm putting like that. I wonder if it's too high there. I might have saved myself. I don't know. That's all I need is a cut right there. We're going out to Spacey Daisy. Dinner tonight. This uh, razor does bring it. So excuse me if I'm not talking as much. Oh, what I was trying to say is this soap, I believe, now is being sold under version 3. The version I have, I didn't know. Like I said, it's a sample that I've kind of set on for a while. So I don't know if it's a version 2 or version 3. Well, typically here I would take my bloom water and kind of rehydrate my face, but since it's all over the floor now, I'm not do, going to do that. Hmm. We'll just do the mister. Let's see. Hmm. I believe I got it fairly hydrated enough. So far, I still have my nose. So that's a good sign. All right. Here goes the second pass. Now, typically I go what I've been doing here lately is, with the grain, 
against the grain on my face. I do not go against the grain on my neck. Got a little, yeah, I got a little something right there. Probably a little blemish. Of course, my whole face is blemish. Yeah, a little place here. Now, this is a tag that will get a little blooping here, maybe. No. This is something in shaving I typically wouldn't do. It's too with the grain passes. Because if I'm in a hurry, I'm probably just going to do a well, place here, place there. I'm typically going to go with. Sorry about the water. I'm in a hurry. I'll typically pop something on and do a uh, against a grain pass and be done with it. Excuse me. Let's see if I can find my a loom. And I don't see it. Oh, there it is. My loom was aloof. No, Alan. How did I get soap all the way up there? Yeah, she's a singing. Now, I almost went with the Murgress on this shave. I was going to dial it up to a six and then off camera finish up, which I'll probably still have to finish up, but not with that. All right, the three questions that I should be answering. Is it an acceptable shave? I'd say probably on the face, yes. On the neck, Probably not. It's a smooth shave with the equipment I used. Actually, not too bad. I mean, I did have a blemish here. Got a weeper over here. This one is operator. And how does it compare to my normal shave routine? Uh, doesn't really compare too, too well. Um, my typical shave routine here lately has been with the grain on the face and on the neck, lather up again against the grain on the face and kind of a hybrid pass on the neck. Third is just neck only. Um, so I think my normal shave routine probably does well for me. That's why I do it that way. Um, but this was, this was fun. I'm always up for a tag. Uh, speaking of tags, I'm going to tag Jet Behind the Scent, the other Josh. Um, I don't know if he'll do it or not, but Josh, you're tagged. Anyway, be good, be kind, be nice to each other. Don't be painting my butt. Until next time, Jim's out.